The Simpleton's Guide. Hello, and welcome to The Simpleton's Guide, because simple is better. Today we'll be talking about genetically modified, or GM foods. When people talk about GM foods, they mean plants that have been engineered with precise laboratory techniques. Many GM varieties have been improved in ways that allow them to resist pests and plant diseases. And others that grow faster, produce more food, or tolerate drought conditions are being tested. Genetically modified foods, sometimes just called biotech foods, differ from traditional plant breeding in one important way. Instead of randomly mixing thousands of genes from two plants and hoping for the best, as farmers have been doing for thousands of years, scientists can locate exactly the improvement they're looking for and make that part of the new variety. That precision not only makes biotech research better than ancient crossbreeding techniques, but superior to other contemporary breeding techniques as well. For example, scientists have even used blasts of radiation on plants, trying to intentionally mutate their DNA and hoping for some favorable changes. That kind of mutation breeding is not GM. It's one of the methods used in conventional plant breeding. So it's easy to see why most scientists consider GM not just better, but a safer alternative. The development of genetically modified plants over the last 25 years has led to extraordinary advances for farmers in many places around the world. Unfortunately, the wider deployment of genetically modified crops has been blocked by unfounded fears about possible side effects. Some activists have questioned the safety of GM foods with charges that the plant varieties haven't been adequately safety tested before being used by farmers in the field. Actually, GM crops have been some of the most exhaustively studied products in the history of agriculture. More importantly, throughout that history of research, there has never been any evidence that precision genetic modification presents any risk to human health or the environment. Limitations on the use of biotech crops have been a frustration for farmers in the developed world, but the problems have been far worse in poorer nations. In places where most people are farmers out of necessity, any advances in yield or pest and disease resistance can make a dramatic difference in the quality of life. When a drought can make the difference between life and death, new plants that are drought resistant are a vital tool. Unfortunately, both activist groups and government officials have pressured the governments of developing countries into banning genetically modified crops. The same unfounded worries of health or environmental threats that keep European governments from embracing GM foods are used to scare or bully poor countries away from using available GM varieties themselves. It's one thing to be hypersensitive about new technologies when you enjoy the luxury of always having enough food to eat. To oppose their use in places where they could save lives, however, is simply wrong. And that's been the Simpleton's Guide to Genetically Modified Foods. Until next time, keep it simple.